end games. Who are we ending? Are you thinking you're going to end the royal family, Megan? An institution that's been around 1,200 years? Haven't I told you to leave that family alone? You're not going to win. You are never going to win against no family that's been around 1,200 years with powers way beyond any of our comprehension. Secret powers you don't even know about. But, you know, hey, it's fun to watch you do it because this is a slow moving train wreck. It's a slow moving catastrophic uh, accident waiting to happen. <laughs>
Megan, like I, we're going to wait for you to pin your book, but it's still too early yet. Cause I think you're going to save that when you really need some cash influx and, um, you'll make your money, but how much I'm not sure. I don't think it's enough to take care of your lifestyle because I was watching Lady C and, and Lady C comes from royalty and money and all that. And the way she calculated, she said that you and Harry would need to be making at least 6 million a year. Uh, when you run through that hundred million, uh, you guys are probably halfway through that hundred million guy from Netflix already, right? Paying for security. Um, what else? Uh, that thirty-five million dollar mansion with the sixteen bathrooms, because um, you you want to get the biggest the biggest house on the block because Harry has come from a castle, and you feel like that. Hey, that's the only way you gonna gonna be able to keep him, I believe. Um, because once you start to to downgrade, and when I mean downsize, us everyday people, we call it downsizing when we live way beyond our means. But unfortunately, you, because you're not rooted in reality, you're still your head's still in the clouds, and you're you know you dwell in the realm of fantasy. You think that oh, this thirty five million dollar house with sixteen bathrooms, perfect. And then you got renting a hotel across the street from WME in Beverly Hills or whatever. So you need you and Harry need to bank six six to seven million dollars a year. Oh, Lady C said six million, I believe. So are you are you able to do that? Because you're gonna go through that 100 million really quick. I know you are. And then you gotta keep up with all them clothes and then all your other habits and then your exempic and uh your lavish lifestyle. I mean, you guys are living way beyond your means. And that hundred million is probably halfway gone already. So this is really going to be fun watching you and Harry downsize and really have to budget like the rest of us have to budget. I would love to travel every day. If it was my wish, I would travel every month. I'll be in a new place. But because I have responsibilities and I work for myself, I'm self-employed, and my funds are limited, I have to budget. Because I have mortgage, two kids in college, I've got, you know, I'm buried. Um, not buried in debt, that's not true. But I have to budget. I'm not rich in no, no way, no how. So you guys, you and Harry have to learn about all that. And it's going to be really fun watching you spin. Because I see you spinning now. I know mentally you are spinning. That's why you wrote that this third book with Obi. Well, no, no, no. The second book with Obi Scobie. You wrote the end game thinking you're going to end the royal family. An institution that's been around 1,200 years. And all you and Obi Scobie did was end your careers and your brands. You're doing it. You're destroying it. So how do you feel now? Hmm. Well, guys, <laughs> I'm loving it. And let me show you something. I just got some from P.F. Chang. I just got some delicious. I got to show you guys. This is my treat day. So let me show you right quick if this top would come off. Oh, my God. Ooh -hoo -hoo. I got their cheesecake. Oh, Lord. I can't have all the fruit because of the sugar. but. And then I've got the ribs. The, um, they're spicy. Here. Delicious, right? Ooh, hoo, hoo. I am looking for, so I better eat the protein first before I get to that sugar. Uh, but anyways, I'm ready to have dinner. I treated myself. All right, guys, let me know if you have any comments in the chat. Let me know your thoughts. Um, it looks like, where do you think those sales numbers are going to go? Do you think that Megan's book, Endgame, will make break the top 100? What do you think? Do you think them numbers are going to continuously going up? Or do you think it's going to go kind of oscillate back and forth and then plateau <laughs> okay let me know i love you guys thanks for watching i'll chat with you soon ciao